they, but they're trying to hide it. Look like they're trying to hide it today, but on the week, it looked like they trying to money trying to flow into that. Mm. It made a pre market. Mm. I had an alert set at 130, 130, 304. I don't know why it didn't go off, but it came down in that pre market. But it looked like they're trying to shift money over there. Well, it looked like it came back through back to this level that was previously holding the support. Came back through with some force right here, but it started pushing towards this resistance. Um, Look at yesterday's pre market. Yesterday's pre? Yeah, in the pre market, look what it did. And look, look, what the, look what they did. Yesterday's pre is right here. Came all the way down to 133. No, the day before, go over here, you see right there? Over there, we say 133 over there? All the way down? 133, 133. Like it came down about 133, 134, something like that. Dang, that was yesterday. I'm looking at this. This was today. Okay, yeah, I see it. They kind of showed their hand yesterday. When the, when the market was crashing, it was up like three or four dollars. Mm hmm. So some money, well, yeah, money stepped in here. Uh, right now we had this. Oh. Yeah, back at support. Yeah. Support line on there right now. I've been watching it. I'm just trying to. I just can't know how to try to um analyze it. Um, for a swing. Yeah, I was like, this look like, and it's holding. Yeah, just trying to just come up with things. I might not take the trade, but in my mind, I'm thinking this is what they're trying to do. They showed the hand yesterday, and I wanted the market keep going down. Will this go up? Will this be the inverse? Because somebody always said they put their money somewhere. Somewhere in the market, they're going to put their money somewhere, and they might swing the bow take. But I don't know. That's how I was thinking. Heading into the next week with all this red, I don't know, bro. Yeah. I don't know on the buy side. Um Mm -hmm. It might come back and test that on the um that, that lower at 133. I like that bearish engulfing on Twitter. Bowen is inside. Bones inside, Delta's outside. I'm gonna just see what's bearish and golfing. And matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at them on the daily and the weekly. Let me see what's bearish and golfing. Weekly over here. They just fall the flag on the two minute block. I'm about to go back up slick if it holds this bullish and uh bullish divergence is creating. Uh, I'm seeing it on the two minute. Let me see the one minute. Yeah, it's on the one minute too. This is a, a clear bullish divergent right now. RSI, RSI divergent. Yeah, it's on the RSI. It's because I was just I, I was looking at the monthly on spot and I was looking at the three month and just trying to understand. And I was just like Red strap to the downside on monthly. I can see like puts coming in for the weekend, shorting it down, but they're going to try to buy it back up. But, you know, quarterly, we're still good. And then I was checking out the 10 day chart and I was like, it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Um, uh, mirrored the candle from July 26th. 
it's, it's, it's just perfect. So looking at that and just looking at price action from past data and taking it all the way to like about February of 2021, just looking at how price aggregated and how it moved. This is really interesting right now. And it's just because it's the first, it's, it's, the, it's not the first week. It's like the last midweek of the first of the month. But um, mm. look at a uh, triple M, bro. Triple M, hold on. Oh my God, yeah, Spy's about to, I feel like Spy going straight back to 395.69, but hold on, Triple M, we'll go back to Spy. Look at it on the daily and the weekly. Everything's giving bullish diversions right now. Let me get off for one minute. Daily and weekly. Oh my gosh, the daily, Jesus Christ. Oh, let me look at the weekly. How much time we got left for this move? Wow. Bruh. Wow. You all right, bruh. Short this. You about to take this? Oh, you gonna make me want to take dang. It's gonna <laughs> happen. It's not gonna happen. I see 114.04 right now. Hey, it, bro. it took that whole PMG. Oh, I'm gonna make a trade now. Oh, I'm gonna make a trade now. I'm gonna make you trade now. You're gonna see it's gonna look too good. Hold on, let me see that, bro. It's look too good. Mom, just you look, yeah. you looking at? No, this is a good one. You said, what? Look at these contracts. What you looking at? Uh, 3M. Oh my gosh. 3M on the daily and the weekly. Swing it. Oh, this shit. Is yeah, for a put swing. Oh, this shit is so cheap. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at take two. I'm looking at triple M. 110 puts, September 16th. Hold on. let's. I got to look at this. HPN don't look bad either. And this don't look. Oh, hold on. So we just started on three, two. So what we got first? Three, two, 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 one side. Oh, three, two. What's three more time? One. Oh, quarter just trigger. One ten. I mean one. For what three. What Jordan, I'm pull it up on a three huh? month. Pull up on a three month. Oh my gosh. One second. Rain, rain, sugar. One forty. Sure. Pull up three charts and put and just put M on. <laughs> I like it to one fourteen. Yeah, that's like, yeah, one fourteen. Yeah, I like it to 114. Yeah. Let me see. Damn, that looks nasty. Looking Actually, at... 3M, they had a lawsuit. They, got what? <clears throat> they had a lawsuit. That's why they're dropping like that. I like, uh... I'm just trying to look at Jordan stuff right now. Oh, you going to put it that way, Mr. Fancy Man? Hey, man. I mean, how you want it, bro? You want Oh, no, it don't matter, bro. <laughs> And please don't do that. I know what you're you about want, to do. You want HR on the thing, bro? <laughs> about to put like 40 screens up. Bro. What was I finna do again? I'm put in. Put in. Macy's? No, no. In, uh, 3M. I'm sorry. Yo, trade, bro. What you... That thing is... Ret- I was just going to show it to you on a monthly, three month, and then weekly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's a beauty, isn't it? Look, this is scroll, scroll to your left. Not scroll, but like, you see that? You see that? Oh, wait, what, what are you on? I missed those two targets. Oh, God. Oh. I, move, I move tie phrase so fast. Uh, I'm seeing it wrong. Wait, pull up your... You on? You was on a... Yeah, you're moving too fast. Look at you, look at you. You was on a month? Yeah, bro. Nah, bro. Hold on. Why is your chart like that? Oh, you don't have a send that I was on for the monthly. It don't matter. Yeah, you're right. That don't what are you matter. Talking about, bro. Yeah, yeah. Why is my chart? Look, you think I'm playing? My yeah, chart, your chart, your chart, chart tripping, bro. This shouldn't be no extended. Nah, hour. bro. All right. So look, this is what I'm about to tell you right now. I don't have this on my chart. Go to your monthly. You see those two targets right there that it hasn't taken out? Those green candles here. I don't have those targets, bro. 
I only have that red candle going down. That look, I'm gonna take a screenshot and post it. You don't. Room. You don't have a May 2020 candle. Yes, my May 20 of oh, May 2020. Yeah, and April 2020. Yeah, I do, but my low is 131.01 for uh, April, and then for May is 131.12. What's your low? Your low of the monthly. Yeah. Mine is 120. Are we on the same? Tr- Hold on. 3 a.m. Yeah, bro. Um, yeah, mine's the same thing as Moody's, bro. The low 131. Thank you. And then 131.12. They cheating, bro. Hold on. That's the one month. Yeah, yo. What's going on? Ooh. Short them now. They cheated. Maybe I'm on the week. I on the weekly. Nah, you on the monthly, bro. I was on the weekly, bro. You was on the weekly? Yeah, I had both charts pulled up side by side, but it was showing me. It just had the wrong title on. Bro, you was about to make me be like, we need to trade together. They giving you quicker targets than me. Oh, my gosh. Why does it say 1M right here if this isn't the month? They just, it's just like a little glitch, bro. It's real live glitching. It say it's the monthly. Yeah, it got an M right here. It says it's the monthly, but it's not. Change it to change it to the weekly. Whew. Yeah, I see. It changed. That's weird. But it had the price. I don't know what the heck was going on. You said somebody said my monthly was like Jordan. Yeah, I don't, it. I don't know what the heck just happened with that. But anyway, yeah, we finna trade this. <laughs> 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 yeah, we can trade it though. I'm gonna tell you right now, we can trade it. Hey, Jordan, what you think? I, you know, I like picking your brain, bro. I like the the 110 puts, but I know you always find some some crazy shit, bro. One, I just had an alert go off. Oh, I'm sorry. And it, it's a September 16th, 110 puts. September. I was looking at that same contract too, bro. Mm-hmm. I think we need some more time though. September 16th was yeah, that. Yeah, hey, I'm saying y'all going on 110. I'm not. Yeah, about for two weeks. Y'all about mm. Go check me out real quick though. Let me see. Hold on. One time left. All right. It's not about let me see. Let me look at the Greeks. Uh does it make sense to go that far out? Let me see what was the 16. Let me ask my Greeks guy real quick. My uh, Greeks guy. Uh, <laughs> I lose four dollars. Can't do it. So 10, 10 take away four, five. And then what's it? September 23rd. Um, 2013. Uh, yeah, these contracts are better actually. Mm-hmm. To go further up. It's always better to figure out, but it's always good to read your Greeks because they, they would, man, if you don't know how to read your Greeks, sometimes you just have bad Greeks. <laughs> and it's just like, you shouldn't even trade that. Stuff. Healthy and feel your best. You got to try Kachava. Kachava is the world's healthiest all in one. Yo, that was like super marketing right there, right? But guess what? Who buying Kachava? <laughs> what? Cracking me up with that. All right, I'm finna go ahead and grab You good, baby? Eat your food. And get- Whole market pulling back, man. Everything, it looks like Moody. Fucking all commodities. <laughs> My 401k. Spot get- still look like it's reversing the y'all. Where'd y'all see a reverse? Uh, My 401k getting shot this year. Yes. <laughs> Big time. What you in the uh what what what, what they say, Jordan? What you in the 2050 return? Man, yeah, bro. They put me in the 2065 target date fund. Man, y'all don't Yo, I choose my portfolio for this retirement joint with some bullshit ass mutual funds. <laughs> 2065. That thing averaged a three percent return over the past 20 years. Yeah, man, please. Man. God, Jordan, I'm taking one more trip. Take it, bro. And the triple limit still making new lows, bro. Take it, take it, take it. Take it. Hey. 
<laughs> hey, bro. Uh, I, I'm taking uh, whatever you call. If you call something, I'm taking your trip. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I, I like that. Um, I don't yeah. like swinging over over the weekend, though. I ain't gonna lie. We got, we I got do it. We got time, though, though, boy. We got, we got time. time <laughs> yeah. 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 We're taking, we're taking, that is off the call, bro. We gonna we gonna we go time, one. Bro. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one twenty for the uh, sixteenth. You taking one twenty? Take one twenty for the sixteenth. One twenty. What I'm gonna do, but I'm I'm looking at this five minute candle. Yeah. I want to I want to get deep with it. I want to enter my swing off the five minute chart. Uh see, that's why I asked him. Okay, thank you, Jordan. Okay, okay, I see what. Okay, okay. You feel me, Brody? Yeah, you're not trying to stay in long. That's why you. Yeah, yeah he you're not explaining that. I'm just reading the Greeks and I'm seeing. Oh it. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're not trying to stay in long. I see what you. Bro, mean. I want to day trade. I want to day trade this challenge so bad. It is eating at my my eye. Yeah, bro. I was thinking the same thing, bro. This. Shit. I like that one. Better. Sure. Hey, Jordan, you should, cause don't you still got two day trade? I mean, why not? Shit, fuck it. You know, <laughs> As Bro, do you understand? As long as you size it, as long as you size it correctly. No, no, no. You know how the five day PDT <laughs> thing works? <laughs> it don't work that way, bro. You're not going to be able to day trade on Monday. <laughs> Hey, bro. Hey, that's how I did the last challenge, though. I've used all my day trades in one day. No <laughs> three account. Oh, that, nah, Moody, because it's a Robinhood account. Three day, you, but we only use one day trade this week, right? On the spot. Well, hood. Man, so I, haven't, still can uh, do two. I haven't day traded on Robinhood so long. Nah. I thought every like if I I thought you had to wait five days after. No, no, no. Two day trades and five business and five trading. Oh, days. okay, cool. See, yeah, TD, we don't got that problem no more. We don't talk about Robin Hood like that. We don't got that problem no more. We don't, you know what I'm saying we don't we don't but deal with that. Everything look like it's going down. What look like it's going? Bro, down? what you uh you waiting for this four minute close or free up? I'm gonna get it right now. I'm about right. to hop in. Yeah, I was about to hop in. I'm right getting now. it now, bro. It's it's two weeks. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, them contracts just moved up to two, too. I'm about to hop in. Man. Dude, how the fuck we missed that spot? See my line. How we missed that spot move, though, man? What was we, we doing? We wasn't looking at it. Damn. That was a big-ass spot drop. That was like a 50-point drop on SPF. We going at the money. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I got yep. one. one we only need a big move. Where is my, where is my channel? So many channels in this Discord, man. Who did this? <laughs> Too much. Too many channels. I can't stay in this, bro. I can't man, oil getting oil moody. getting killed, Moody. Oil's down a lot too today. Robin Hood give me such garbage. Oil. I know. Are you talking about Exxon or oil? Yeah, Exxon. Exxon was Exxon. I'm waiting for an entry. I'm waiting for that gap. Bro, why do you be calling them oil? <laughs> because this is an ex it's an Exxon Mobil, right? Yeah, I look at them like guys, but I'm trying to understand, so I could call them oil. Like I'm trying to understand. Like... <laughs> why are you laughing, bro? Uh, you get, uh, you just told Exxon Mobil had that uh had the oil spill, bro. That's why he called it oil. Oh, the Russia thing. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm just glad. Uh, that, I'm glad. Uh, that, uh, I'm glad. What you get for that, that George? Huh? What you get filled at? Two oh nine, dog. Robin annoying me. <laughs> yeah, these fills, uh, these these uh fills are bullshit. Yeah, completely. But you know, we all right. Yo, are you are you in Exxon? No, I'm not. I haven't gotten I got any. I'm away. Oh, okay, just chilling. No, I'm I'm gonna hold it, bro. I'm holding on. Trap, trap. I'm not. I'm not. Up. I even look at that on Monday. <laughs> to be honest. All right. So we took that. Going off of the strap with this. All right. What looks like it could possibly have some chance at being bullish next week? Uh, the whole market looked like shit. <laughs> oh, God. Is that a Zay? No. Uh, it looks like crap to me. The only thing <laughs> I wait for like some retest. Well, uh, let's look at right, look, 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 look. <laughs> Just uh, well, I, I forget your name, bro. Is uh, what's your name, bro? Uh, Tashambi. Tashandi, because I don't be one of like I, I know Tashambi, Tashambi, bro. Yeah. B. Tashambi. Yeah. yeah. 
It's a Shambi. I like that. It's a Shambi. But um, uh, which one? That had a ring to it. Dang, you better tell people call me Shashambi. But um, but yeah, <laughs> but yo, uh, look, pull up your two day your two day chart. I got it. I think you'll change your perspective on that. Okay, I see what you. I see what you're saying. We just like, like you said, we like in supply. So I mean, we like in we like in the supply zone. So I mean, not supply demand. So we just gotta wait. Oh yeah, and the reason I said I'm going off of the track is it's just a two one, two one, bro. I got four days. This There's four days left on this, uh, and, and you gotta go with the weekend, right? I'm gonna have a whole new candle for this chart. I'm looking for the two one two boom reverse it to the upside. Take out that take out that three bar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We take out that three bar, we automatically go into hundred dollars. On what? Exxon. That's that's up or down. Up. Damn, bro. So when All I right. ask, look, what look, look like look. it was going up? Oh my bad. Look, I normally always just like be posting. And I just be hoping like people ask questions and be like, what, what are you talking about? Oh, what do you see? I do it a lot, like on Mondays and Tuesdays. I haven't been doing it like this week, but I be posting bar charts. And I just be like, hmm, the market's red, but uh, it's red for some, but energy is green. You know what I'm saying? It's just the market's going to be red, but energy is going to be green. Mm -hmm. That's why I say energy is a good swing play. Mm -hmm. just look at it anytime the market is red energy is green true mm -hmm. energy is always green in kind of market I noticed that it's been bullish all year you got <laughs> not always, not always. I say always and people walk away like oh the market is going to be red so I got to automatically buy energy cause. no yeah not always not it's always in your chart knowing your setups knowing how well, like, what it looks like when I said, hey, Jordan, can you pull up the two-day chart on, on Exxon? I can in a second, bro. I'm looking at this bullish engulfing on Pin Duo Duo. PDD. PDD. Uh, the hell with PDD. Yeah, Shoot. that was a weird. I was going to ask y'all about that stock. I, that stock's been just, what's going on with that stock lately? I've been mm -hmm. seeing it just running. I don't yeah. know, but... Uh... I don't know, cub, but uh, that might be that might be a bullish trade. I'd say low key. I might take I might take it with a bull. We got a bear, a bullish engulfing on the daily right now. We got the gap above coming out of this little down area we was in. Uh, Dang, bro, that's that Shinava. Nah, that look good. Oh, it, it's showing a cup nah. of handle. See that cup of handle right there? I'll take PDD. Damn, why am I on this car, bro? You don't make me <laughs> sure. See, bro. Moody. Good, bro. It's because it has full time frame continuity to it, too. You think I ain't know? You think I ain't look at this chart three days ago and plan this out? Me alone, bro. I don't. Hey, uh, oh, hey Moody and Jordan. I gotta mess with Moody one more time, bro. Look at this trend line break. Leave bro. me alone, bro. Look, look at it, bro. Look at it. Look I at, see it, bro. I look, see. bro. <laughs> bro, pull up the three, uh, the three, <laughs> pull up the three day chart so you can feel better. Hey, uh, Jesus Christ, bro. Now look at your range, the two yellow lines you drew. Tell me it's not going up there. <laughs> I can't tell you that. But what? What you? <laughs> Inverted head and shoulders. Want to talk about patterns? I knew I saw some. Oh, yeah, question though. <coughs> What's up? To, was that Tashambi? Yeah, I was gonna ask. Um, I was gonna ask you, Jordan. How long the twenty-four hour zoom? When is the twenty-four hours up? It's nine in the morning. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go out later. Yeah, come back, bro. It tripped me. It tripped me out the first time I was on here. And like I was in y'all, I remember I, one time I went out with my buddy, man, I came back and y'all was still on here. I was like, oh my God, what is y'all here talking about at four in the morning? Yeah, bro. We get paper, bro. I was like, damn. We get I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was out one time too, bro. 
All I could think about was getting back home to be on the Zoom, bro. That's bad. <laughs> bro, I was on the Zoom one time. I had went out one time out to eat. Like, I was just by myself, and I just had my Apple AirPods, and I was just listening to y'all. I was like, well, y'all just going to be on here all night. Y'all could just be my entertainment instead of, you know what I'm saying, sitting at the, I was at the bar by myself. Bro. Yeah, I was the gang watching the game with the fellas, and I'm like, damn, man, oh, this is so whack, man. I want to be on the Zoom, man. Y'all, it, it's going. Uh, we got – we have home buying and personal finance and credit from six to seven Eastern. We got long-term investment training at eight. We got um, we got somebody coming in to do charting levels and creating impulse at nine, Elliott waves and chart requests at 10. And then where's the market headed overall at 11 to 12 a.m. And then after that, we're just gonna be freestyling, I guess, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to find somebody that's gonna come do a one a.m. class. We're gonna go crazy. I mean, you know, we're gonna lead you down. To hey, this is the key. This is the question. Are y'all gonna be up? Like, y'all gonna be? I mean, y'all team no sleep or? Hey, cuz, is that really a question? And how long you been? I mean, I know. No, 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 bro. How long you been in the um the Discord? <laughs> that's why I said in your heart. What you think the answer is, bro? <laughs> it must be new. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I ain't know if you can stay up during the, the seven in the morning, man. I mean, go to sleep. It's you. Bro, he, he, somebody got to tell him. Somebody should tell him. I don't go to sleep till Lauren called me like six times telling me I need to go to sleep. That is correct. Okay. We, taking, we taking this Zoom from sun, what is it, sunrise to sunrise. <laughs> next we did, uh, the, longest, the longest Zoom we did that I was on. I was on the whole time. It was. It, it was, was a whole ten and a half hours. We got off at like seven a.m. Ten and a half hours. So it really ain't nothing, bro. I don't plan on going. I think it's adrenaline, honestly, because when it's like you get in the zone and then time is <clears> flying <throat> by. I as long as y'all are here and engaged, I don't care. <laughs> I'm here till everybody else fall asleep. Then I'm like, wake up! Look at this chart. <laughs> I got something to say. <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> hey, I got a chart request for you. <laughs> help me, help you. <laughs> real, teach, teach back to me with something I taught you, so I can make sure you understand. Not real talk. So yeah, bro. No, I'm not worried about falling asleep uh, at all. But we do have different people coming on. So I don't plan on like sitting here looking at the camera the entire 24 hours straight. Um, I'll probably go to the store, go to the gym or do whatever. I was supposed to go hoop actually, but we're gonna do that tomorrow. So nah, I'm up, bro. This is my this is my group, my Zoom, bro. I can't, I can't be sleep with guest speakers coming through and they like, hey Jordan, I need help. And Jordan's over here like Arr. <laughs> hey Jordan. Jordan, I need help on the Zoom. How can I? Nah, we here, bro. But yeah, bro, we're gonna take I'll take PDD. I just the only reason I was trying to find something that was bullish is because going into this weekend with the market doing all these crazy moves is I ain't want you know how the market do. You know, the market, markets, and it'll be a recession with COVID, with HIV, with Ebola, and the market's like, new highs. <laughs> we don't care, new highs. <laughs> Stocks go up. HIV, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, Dave's plane just crashed, and they go up. And they go up. Miss Ernie. Yeah, yeah, y'all remember that during COVID? Y'all remember that during COVID? Boom, we get some bad news, and it would just go up. Like, wait till the unemployment rate goes up. Bullish. Yeah. People losing that job, let's go. <laughs> People losing that job, let's go. We bullish, man. <laughs> what the hell? Wrong with America. <laughs> exactly, but, bro. Oh, my God. But what we did was we found a very good bearish position. I already knew this shit was going to bounce. Found a very good bearish swing. Um, and then we've also found a very good bullish swing, right? So it's still in my desire to find something to trade both ways, it's still, if you just was scrolling through and you found this, 
you would be like, yo, this is dope. Look at this. Bullish, boom, 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 boom. Broke above the resistance, closed above the resistance, gap above. Like they both are very solid trades in their own, you know, in their own uh, respect. So I'm going to take PUD towards the end of the day, probably. Screw it. I can just take it on. Who cares? Mm, I might take that with you, Jordan. Let us know what you're going to, because I PDP, yeah, I've seen it. I've been watching that stock, man. I've been noticing. Oh, yeah, PDD, like, there was a, a, a sweep in there. I was looking at that. Word? On the box. Let me see some. See if I can make some money oh, on these bots. You know, I'll be sleeping on the bots, but I'm about to make a bag with the box. Man, I called out a trade. Uh, that Saba, that Saba trade, I called out that went like two hundred some. Uh-huh. Somebody was like, the bot gave a good trade on Saba. I called. Yeah, out. PDD seventy two strike. That was in three hundred sixteen. That's why Simon Swing. That was a free. That was a free trade too. You gave everybody money. So what's this PDD? This was yesterday. The money. Oh, yesterday the bot called the PDD call. Oh, look at that. Look at that in the video one that they called. When the video dropped? What's today? Wednesday. MK said he was swinging PDD. They put out I was, a, it was, if it's time frame continuity and certain things that Rob was saying, literally Jordan talking about PDD, that's what it is. That's what he's doing. He's trading in force. He's trade like and even with with 3M, he is trading in force. There's full time frame continuity to the downside. And not only to the downside, even half of like, and when I say full time frame continuity, I'm talking strictly from the hour and up daily and stuff like that. But if you look at that stock too, it has time frame continuity to the downside on a smaller time frames as well, right? So they're only planning to sell that stock. And PDD is the opposite. It's <coughs> full time frame continuity to the upside. Everything is green. You remember what Rob was telling you? Why would I be thinking about shorting this? They're buying it. Even on a bigger time frame, they're telling you, buy, buy, buy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to keep those things in mind. But man, bro, that's fire, bro. That's super fire. Three month chart on PDD just gave the reversal to. Literally, all time frames literally just did a domino effect. Just doop, 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 doop. See, Moody said I'd be trading in force. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't know. That would be so funny. Like, you'd be like, you just did a do do do. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> I did. I always do that, bro. It's like, bro, you always have you're a strat trader, Jordan. Just admit it. Yeah, you really are, bro. Trading in force is time for it's trading with time frame continuity. It's just different oh. terms. Like, oh, yeah. All the time for <laughs> green. Is trading in force, trading in the force of the trade. Oh, yeah, bro. I've been doing that. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's why I like the strat world. That's why, I like, when Rob was like, and he said channel, he's like, ah, I hate to use that that terminology. And it's because he created the strat, but also there's the regular terminology for it that, you know, people use. But then there's terminology like targets. People would say targets, you know what I mean, and price target and stuff like that. But we're all strat traders are only gonna say certain things where it's like we took out a high or we took out a low or it created a broad information. Um, and it's just what I don't understand is like when somebody like you gotta listen to the questions an individual asks. What's my entry point? Hey, what's your stop loss? Hey, what where are you gonna take profits at? Hey, you know. The strat literally answers all that questions. You enter here, you put your stop loss here. You take profits here, you take profits here. And that's why it's like, bro, all of that, that you're trying to understand, the strategy is going to tell you, literally. So there's no there's no guessing. That's the, that's the thing. We know we're gonna get stopped out. We know that. And especially if we're playing smaller time frame, we just, Trying to hurry up and get it. What we're doing is trying to trade for trying to catch that that big boom. We might, just like Rob said, we may get stopped out two or three times, but I promise you that fourth one, 
boom, it's going to recover all those losses and bring me so much more profits. And if I want to, I can add to the position, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me, there's no other reason for me to try to learn any other strategy. That's why I just stick with the strat and the RSI and anything else that I know, but I'm still trying to unlearn that so I could be strictly strat. Hey, uh, Moody, are you teaching us about the RSI strategy uh, in, in boot camp next week? Yes. Um, I'm going to teach you right now. I'm going to teach you right now. So you pull up the RSI, right? <laughs> Look at this. I'm joking. This, I'm, I'm joking, guys. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I started pulling it up. <laughs> well, no, I pulled up the stock, uh, Rush Street Interactive. Oh, he, he keep looking for more trades. See, he be over trading. Y'all don't even know. Nah, bro, this is just RSI. Oh, I ain't know that. No, you see. Oh, you pulled up the. Oh, my gosh. This guy. This guy. <laughs> I love him. I ain't even know that, but that's what's up. Um, I lost my train of thought on that one, though. I was like, what? Did he really pull up the RSI with Candace's? What is this? What is this stock? It's RSI, bro. Nah, bro. That is not the RSI. Um, but yeah, uh the boot camp, yeah, we're gonna uh we're gonna teach all of that stuff. Um is the boot camp, I'm gonna just be truly honest with you, it's to the individual. I'm going to be teaching stuff, but I'm also gonna allow people. All right, so this is what I understand. If you want to help an individual and you want to help them become successful or reach their potential, whatever that they want to reach, you have to get, I have to know, Rob said it, I have to know who you are. I have to understand what, are you a millionaire? Are you a billionaire? Do you have $50,000? Like we have to develop a trading strategy. So even when you're on these classes, it is helping if you take the information and apply it, like what you're hearing and apply it for yourself. The boot camp is more so give me your information. Let me apply it for you. This is what you could be doing. This is what you should be doing. You know what I'm saying? Go about it this way and see how it works for you like this. Stop trying to do this and trying to do that, right? I'm just going to give you a successful strategy and help you and teach you what I learned to do myself. And as well as Jordan is going to do that. Right. Um, that's why we're partnering up to do it together, because um, somebody may want to learn how to trade the strat or how to trade how I'm trading um, or somebody may want to learn how to trade how Jordan is trading. You know what I'm saying? So we're just trying to put the value there. Um, this is not like a strat boot camp. Now that you got me talking, yes, there will be a strat boot camp. Right um mixed in with other things you know what i'm saying um well i can't i'm not about to talk ahead of myself but you know we're planning we're, we're planning things you know it's all up to jordan you know what i'm saying regardless of the fact that moody may be dope nothing's gonna get done unless jordan says so and it's because jordan is the boss jordan you you know what i'm saying he know and it's not even about oh jordan's the boss or this it's more so about you're successful doing this. You know what you're doing. Okay, tell me what I need to do to keep making this keep pushing forward. I'm not about to question you. I'm not about to think of nothing different because you have a strategy of making companies successful, building successful businesses. I do as well. You know what I'm saying? And like, well, just to keep talking about like what I'm talking about, I know it was the boot camp thing. That's when it goes back to like when Jordan was like, yo, Moody, I love your trades. I love what you do. You're already doing a lot. I don't want to ask you to do all of this stuff and you're still doing this stuff. Let's figure out our contract. You might have to take a pay cut, but let's put you in the educational field, bro, because you thrive there. You thrive at, at, at your trades too, but you thrive there and you have a way of breaking things down. So let's utilize that skill set in educating people. All right, let's go. Let's do it. The group keeps growing. That's all that matters. We're here to help people. <laughs> we already made it out the rat race, right? So it's just like, that's why I like working with Jordan because it's like, everybody's going to think of a selfish or a benefit way, right? But when you're already there and you're happy in life and you're going to continue to move forward, why not bring other people along on that journey? 
And that's what Jordan constantly reminds me of, where it's like, all right, Moody, I know you feel this way, but you're good, right? You're going to want to help somebody tomorrow, right? All right, so let's do it this way. Don't worry about putting out trades or doing this. Do this. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's just do this. But I'm like, but bro, that's more time. I know it's more time, bro, but we trying to help people, right? All right, cool. Months go by. My DMs are flooded of Moody. Thank you so much. Moody, look where my portfolio at. Moody, I just made 10 bands. Moody this. All right, let's go. Let's keep helping, bro. I see what you meant. I get it. <laughs> this is giving me so much more energy, so much more fuel. Just engage. Ask questions. And I'm going to give you the game. Just like how I'm going to New York and I'm literally going to meet up with some people and just teach people this stuff. Why? Because what does it hurt me for you to know how to make money too? You know what I'm saying so, but yeah, the boot camp thing is is gonna be very intense. I'm not gonna lie, it's not gonna be like that's why it's a boot camp thing and it's a mini course. It's not gonna be like oh, you know, like the class and stuff like that. Like no, you're wrong. Don't do that. And it's not about saying you're wrong. It's hey, that's that's not a good strategy. Let's try doing this. Let's focus on this. You know what I'm saying? And just going in depth into that going in depth and that's why we're also allowing uh we're also giving away um the the 30 minutes uh free uh one-on-ones with us why because i, I was giving away them courses too bro. i forget about all that it's just we always we you we always doing things like that like he's he's giving away the courses for free he's giving away what a month or something like that for free yeah, a month on the profit calendar on the profit calendar you know what I'm saying? And that's why I love Jordan. I'm just like, all right, bro, like, how can we do it? Like, we was going to do the mentorship. Your mentorship bundle and package is, and, and especially the boot camp, is way more, is, is worth way more than what we're providing, right? But that's a lot of time, you know what I'm saying, for Jordan, because he's traveling. I'm traveling and doing things as well, but I don't have that time to be able to provide. So I understand that. So me and him got together to do the weekly thing, right? And that's why I said, like, I was trying to make it uh, super affordable. But Jordan was like, all right, let's make it super affordable. But how much free things can we give somebody? And that's what I understood. Because people like free things, but you also respect what you pay for. You you value it a little bit more. So it's just... It's just mind games. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To understand, like, okay, you're getting free things. You're getting great value for free things. Where And there's also classes on how to utilize these things. You know what I'm saying? Jordan did a whole class on just how he built the profit calendar, how he uses it, how he traded it when he was in college, all that stuff, right? So you'll be able to go to those videos and know how to utilize those free things, right? And we'll also talk about it um, in the classes, too. I wouldn't tell you that, hey, the class is going to be this long or that long. Um, because when you when you love to do what you're doing, there's not really a time limit. It's really OK. The job's done for today or for right now. Let's go. All right. See you guys tomorrow. 24 hour Zoom. Uh, OK. <laughs> yeah. we, we do those almost all the time anyway. It ain't nothing. Exactly. It ain't nothing. But it's real, bro. That's uh. We talk, I think we talked about that, bro. How, like, you know, working with somebody who's of that because you don't want to, you don't want to play yourself, right? And be like, well, I'm straight, so I'm gonna put all this time, all this energy, all this effort into it for nothing, you know, I don't get anything in return, right? You don't want to play yourself, but at the same time, it's like, bro, yeah, we could charge this. And everybody's going to say it's worth this, but bro, like, I want everybody to be like, I can do it, you know what I'm saying? But it's still a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing, you know? So it's not a, dang, that's a thousand dollar five day mentorship. Ain't no way, you know, I got this going on, you know? It's still a hundred bucks though. So you got to consciously be like, I'm, I was going to go take shorty out to this dinner i'm trying to you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but shorty gonna be on the zoom with me on this boot camp <laughs> and if she don't get on this zoom with me then she the wrong one 
<laughs> That's a fact. For real. But look, I'll tell you one thing. And me and Jordan talked about this. Me, man, revenge is for God. So I don't be trying to see for revenge, but I'll be letting him work through me. And I just be like, man, why do people be charging people? Like, I understand you have the skill, you learned it, and somebody's paying for your time. Like, cool. Charge for your time. You know what I'm saying? But also be a human and understand that the average American doesn't even make more than forty to fifty thousand dollars a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, be a human. You was once there. You know, if you want to help somebody, you got to help change their mindset, too. That's what my brother taught me. and He instilled it to me. Can I ask you a question, Moody, really quick? Off what yeah. you just, said, just random. You know, I'm going to be on here with you guys all day. What you just said just kind of really just, I think, hit a lot of people that, that probably just ain't speak on this. You said the average American make forty fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year. In your position, I'm gonna ask Jordan the same thing. I don't, I don't care how much money you guys ever made at your lowest. But would you want to? Would you want more out of life if, if that is what you were you were making and you really didn't like your career or job or whatever you were just doing? Would you want more from yourself if you were making that? What you just said, it could. I don't care if it was forty to sixty, forty to eighty. But how would you feel if you were making that type of money right now in your life? I used to make that type of money. It wasn't the money that made me feel like I wasn't where I was in life, where I wanted to be in life. It was me not having the freedom to do what I wanted to do in life. So it's like, now I have the time. I looked at it when, even when I was making, bro, I done made $20,000 a year. I'm moody, bro. The heck, I'm from the hood. I didn't, I dropped out of high school and I got a GD. I don't care to tell you my life story. You know, but even when I wasn't make when I was not making no type of money, it wasn't the money. It was more so I needed time to like find who I am, you know, and like dig deep inside of me and know my flaws and know my emotions and know, hey, this is what bothers Kelvin. This is what doesn't bother Kelvin. This is who Kelvin inspires to be. And these are the things I need to do to be able to get to that. So like my goals were trying to find who I am, trying to find his story, his story, my story, right? Because everybody knows who they are, but a few people. I don't want to get into that. So, you know, I just wanted to find those things. Like my thing is really just God, bro. I want to get closer to God. I understand that that's compassion, love, helping people, doing stuff for people. So I live in my God body. I live in my God image because I just want the best for people and I want the best for me. So that was me. Like I didn't, money doesn't make me feel like, oh, I don't, I can't get what I want. My mind's going to get what I want. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I felt down in life to like kind of answer that question differently, it was more so because I wasn't doing the things that made me happy or doing the things that I wanted to do or not forgiving somebody and holding resentment or, you know, just, I don't know, shit like that, bro. Uh, when you say that, are you talking about if I went from where I'm at right now to making that income, would I have a problem with it? Is that kind yeah. of? Yeah, so like if you, well, basically movies is like, well, most the average person make this. Yeah. So my mindset is when you were making that type of money, were you were you content with your life? Did you want more? Because I know you said you, your thing was you were already working, you know, you were trading on the side or whatever was going on, but you knew you wanted more. So, mm -hmm. but also let's make sure I know why we're talking and we watching Spy too. Because if I see something, let's let's still make some money, y'all. For sure. Yeah, that's a fact. I don't got so, no charge at Georgia. Content, content. Um. Content, as long as content and satisfied aren't the same thing, as long as content and comfortable aren't the same thing, then I could say, yeah. Um, I've never been really like, as long as, like I said, as long as content and comfortable aren't equivalent, 
because I've always been, how can I maximize this? What's next for this? I'm trying to get here. Oh, damn, I did that? How do I get here? Oh, damn, I made 5K. I made 1K. When I first made 1K in a week, I was like, oh, shit, I figured it out. I figured it out. That's 52. That's 52. I figured it out. Then I made 1K in a day. I said, oh, yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> but oh, um, content. I think at a certain point, at a certain point, it becomes less of a of a of a focus, right? Your focus shifts. Um, so my focus shifted from me to my mom. All right, once my mom is straight, it shifts to. Grandma, I'm trying to figure out the order. It might be grandma first, then mom, you know. But you know, after that, it's just back to my kids, right? I don't have any kids. Um, so for me, I'm not pressed. But after I have children and I've set them up to where 10 years old, 15 years old, whatever, like they set, you know what I'm saying? Then I don't know, something will be next. Then it's back to the people. You know, it's always going to be the people, right? So I don't think there's ever really a, a comfortability. Um, there's happiness in the accomplishments, in the achievement, in the progress. Um, but I'm truly not content with the discord. I'm not, I'm not content till I can ask anybody what the number one discord is for trading, and they say MSC. If they don't, that's a problem. Why Why is it not MSC? You know, tell me. Let me know. Talk to me. I sit here and talk to you all day about that until either you decide to change your answer or I change the Discord to where everybody still agrees it's the best. So I, I think that's part of my personality. Um, and I think that's a big pusher in what I do and what I've accomplished and, you know, being able to accomplish a lot um, at a at a younger age than most do. Um, I don't have, I don't be, con- yeah, bro. Uh, it was one, real real talk, 2020, 2020, I said, most people make 40,000 in a year, like 42, 43. I said, I'm, I'm gonna make that shit in a month. That was, that was what I said in 20. I said, I'm gonna make that shit in a month, bro. I said, that's, that's my, I don't care about no Gucci flex, no Louis flex. And I don't even care about flexing nobody. I was gonna do my flex to myself, like in a month. Then I did that. I'm like, damn, I gotta do it in a day now for a week, then a day. So nah, I guess through talking that out, I'm not content. I don't be content, bro. This is always the next step. I if agree I'm with not, you. If I'm not moving towards nothing new, what the hell am I doing, bro? I agree with you. That's why I got out, that's why I got out of the truck. That's why I um, chilled on trucking. I had a clock at that. Made plenty of money on trucking. I was like, damn, what's new? And I found this and shit. That's where I've been going at since. You know, I know I can get in, in the truck and do whatever I want to do. But this right here is the next level for me. That's how I see it. Just like how you see it. I ain't how many years you got in trucking? I've been doing trucking. I had to be on the first. Oh, it's been 06. Ooh, you see, it's about to break that cup and handle. Thanks. But nah, that was a dope, that was a dope question too, bro. But like I like to push conversations and I like to push thoughts. And I just I just have to learn how to communicate certain things because sometimes it's like I'm saying it with love, but it may come off come across wrong. Um and that's not my intentions. But like you see, that was a great question. And now to push that conversation further. Like within that question that you ask, right? Because you're asking questions on like mindset and how, you know, you continue to prevail. Well, one thing that I will push that, uh, that question is, um, not that question, but the statement after the question, because you asked the question and then you was like, but let's keep looking at SPY. If you see some, I'm saying we're still trying to make money, right? We're teaching people how to fish and how to trade. So if I was you asking that question, well, I don't want to say it like that. See, that's why I said I need, I need to learn how to communicate things so it could come off the way I'm truly trying to say how I feel inside. But what I learned is like, and I do this to myself, where it's like, all right, if I was to ask someone that question, then I was to say that, what would help me 
be a better person or just just get to my goals quicker, I'll be like, how can I rephrase that question? And I'll be like, okay, ask the question. And then the statement will be more so like, all right, I'm going to keep watching Spy just in case I see something. I'm going to let you know just for confirmation. You know what I mean? Because now I'm pushing myself to learn. And now I'm, I'm pushing to make money to myself, not dependent, if that makes sense. I, I understand. You are, you are right. This the fact facts. It's not about being right or wrong, and that's what I'm learning in life because nothing's right or wrong. A lot of times, it's someone's experience, right? So it's just about helping each other. You know what I'm saying? Because your question was amazing. Like when I heard Jordan answer the question, I was like, "Oh, that's what he was really trying to ask me." Not like a personal. It was a personal question, but not like a deep personal question. You know what I'm saying? It's like how did I feel? Like the transformation of that mindset of you know having that mindset and going to another one. And Jordan was like explaining it so well that I see it vividly, you know what I'm saying? So that was a, that was a great question, but it's always about what Jordan said. It's like, what's the next thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't, if you don't have goals, when you hit your goal, you're going to celebrate and you're going to lose momentum. You know what I'm saying is to me is always best to celebrate when you hit that. And I didn't even think I was gonna like, bro. You think I'm gonna celebrate because I met Rob? That was a huge accomplishment, but nope. It's time to go harder and learn and, and and rewatch that video and listen to the questions that I asked him. Listen to the answers that he gave. Listen to everybody else's questions that they asked him. Listen to the um, answers he gave. Go back to my trading. Um, portfolio and stuff like that looking at my stuff reanalyzing certain things like oh okay I could have really I've already done that but with being one-on-one -on -one with him now I'm able to do that a little better if that makes sense okay I feel it but yeah anybody got any questions about the charts or anything that was a good question though for real great question Damn, what was the question yeah I missed it <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at something to swing, man. Oh, you need another swing, bro? No, I posted the uh, Wayfair, bro. I like that Wayfair chart. And then that PDD, I'm waiting for that, too. So, Yeah, oh, the question was about um, when Moody was talking about, like, the motivation just to be, just to get more out of life. You know what I'm saying? With oh, just get more out of life, yeah. More? Get more yeah. out of life, like you want more out of life, you know, like you know, being just being above average, you know, you want more for yourself, bro. I, I just came, bro. I mean, you know, everybody has their own like internal, you know, stuff. Um, a lot of my stuff that drive me stem from having a dad and a stepdad and not having no relationship with either one of them till I was 20. and that being because they were so focused on being out, trying to provide, that they was never in nurturing and providing emotionally and mentally. Um, you know, not to discredit them in any regard, because, you know, I fool with both now. Um, but, you know, for me, I was just like, I never want my, I never want my kids to feel like that. Like, they can't go talk to me about stuff because they don't know how to talk to me, you know, or it's days where I'm still sleeping at the house, but I come, I leave so early and I come in so late, like they don't even see me, you know what I'm saying? Um, or, you know, like baseball games and track meets and all this stuff they're not showing up at. That's, that's like one of the drivers, um, you know, and then outside of that, just the idea of, this opportunity to be the best version of yourself, you know? Like, why would I not? Why would I not go hard? Why would I not put people on if I could put people on? Why would I not share what I've learned that's made me money with other people so it can make them money? Especially if we already know the government is against us, the world is against us. Hey, bro, like, <laughs> why would I not? You know, so... Uh, yeah, it's just like a deciding to get it, you know what I'm saying? By any means necessary, you know. So, we gotta do what we gotta do. I had to stop talking. Yeah, about I think it uh, 
goes back to your why, right? Like you said, um, I think you said you want how to get more out of life, but why do you feel like you need more out of life, right? Um, and you start writing those things down. Why you feel like you need more out of life? Well, I want to make, you know, more financially. Why do you feel like you need to make more financially? Well, because I want to be able to, you know, buy what I want. I want to be able to provide for my family. I want to be, you know, financially free. Um, and you start looking at your situation and then <clears throat> writing out, well, how can I be financially free, right? Like starting from the basics, from the, from, from the, the foundation, because I think it's more mental um, than anything, right? Because you can theoretically, physically do anything, but if you don't have the mental state to reach that goal or to um, reach that milestone, then you're not gonna have the physical ability to do it because you're not programmed mentally. So once you change your mental mindset and your mentality on why you want to ha have more in life, not just directing this at you, but just in general, why you wanna have more in life, then you can take those actionable signals onto that path. So um, if it's like a career, a job, or even just being a trader, right? Um, being a full-time trader, figuring out, okay, what steps do I need to do to be a full-time trader? Um, what do I need to learn, right? Um, and then building on that platform, building on those fundamentals, building on that foundation. But you have to figure, but it all boils down to a why, because if you don't know why you want to be a full-time trader, then when you run into a brick wall and you start losing, you're just going to be like, well, you know, I tried and then you're going to go back to what feels comfortable, right? So once you have that why, um, move according to that. And it's got the hotline over there. Nah, it ain't me. Uh, uh, hey, you just had, you, you, nah, you didn't just have a birthday right now because your birthday just passed, I remember. Yeah, my birthday was 27. Yeah. My bad, that was my phone. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't <laughs> mute. Nah, you good. We know you got an assistant back there. I got so many things going through my head watching this big chart, man. It's, it's like I done seen it from a company handle, but man, if it don't break that 138, man, this thing might go to hell today. <laughs> take, a, take a break, bro. Like, no, at it's it. good. It's good because I'm seeing things. I'm seeing patterns. I'm seeing double bottoms. I had to Hold on, one. hold on, hold on. What did you say in the video was going? 137.50? Well, well, I already did that, but right now the it's on the cup and handle in two minutes. Man, man. Cup and handle. Sure, bro. You Five said minutes. it, bro. You said in the beginning, 137.50. That's where it's going. Look where it's at. Where yeah. it's going. But I'm trying to see if it, 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 it touched that 138, where it was the real line that was saying, if it touched the 138 and they don't hold, I'm just trying to see this next hour, I'm going to play it, I'm gonna play it to the downside because if it don't hold 138, if it don't close above 138, that let me know it's going all the way back down to, to where they want to stop for the day. Because it did a double bottom on the two minute. A, a, a double, I don't even know why. I was looking at the hourly and I'm thinking that's a support, but it's really, if you go to the smaller time frame, it's a double bottom. And it shot back up. I got a PDD seventy three call nine sixteen at three seventy three. I might just might hit seventy three today. Three uh, seventy three call on PDD nine sixteen. Swing PDD seventy three C nine sixteen. Yeah, I didn't officially start trading. It kind of like I just feel like. Doing what I want to do. Yeah. 
can we look at the Nvidia uh, chart? Yeah, but hey, you on your uh, what's Hey, what's going on? Yeah, no, because he said it, it looked like a double bottom or, or like it's gonna go back down, but it looks like a bull flag on the five minutes. So I just want to double check. Are you on your computer? I'm on my phone charting. Smart man. Oh my. I was so gonna say, go ahead, and share that screen, boss. <laughs> Cause you be putting, I, you just I share a screen on the phone. <laughs> he can, but I just love seeing him all up in the uh, members' ideas, sharing his ideas and stuff that he's looking at. I was just about to say that he goes crazy in that channel. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I don't want to spam the general channel. So, but I, and maybe like somebody will catch on and maybe we can share ideas, share, share indicators or strategies or whatever. No, you you're doing it exactly right. That's exactly what that channel's for. Mm-hmm. Hey, Lauren. Yo, that's my 3 a.m. 2 a.m. buddy right there. Yeah, word. I believe yeah. it. Oh, what happened, bro? What happened to me and Wiz, bro? Oh, nah. Uh, that's something. That's something else. <laughs> uh, don't make me say it out loud. That's something else. He know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. It's one of those things I can just be left out of huh it's just one-on-ones bro it's just one-on-ones okay (laughs) you guys will be together for 24 hours today (laughs) i love his we got an inverted head and shoulders on spy that's why i went ahead and took the uh pdd i went ahead and entered just in case the overall market started pushing and it moved up with the market look at the four Oh, no, no, I said you, you did 73. I went 74. Oh. Um, what they say? Look at the video. I want somebody else to put up their charts. Like Luther. Share his screen. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's take a look at this. Oh, screen. Right, come on, Luther. How? <laughs> like, man, look, you're going to click this button. <laughs> click this. Yeah, I'll do it if I, if I know how to do it. It's a green button <laughs> that'll say share screen. But you not you on your iPad on the Zoom and on your you ain't on the computer. No, I don't know how to put. I gotta put Discord on my on computer. Mm, but this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a rise of wedge right now. Man, I want to test that through one thirty eight, man. Luther, are you on the two minutes? I'm over two minutes right now, but um. Mm-hmm. That's what it looked like. I actually been buying more shares in the video, man. I can't believe the video is down twenty five percent this week. That is crazy. They had that news. Oh, sorry. Yeah, four hundred million dollars of that market, the market that profits wiped right away from China. I don't know how I feel about that long term. Really don't forget the Apple event next week too, y'all. If people didn't forget about the Apple new iPhone event. And then, like people still buying those. Man, we, is Quinn on here? Quinn needs to get on here and tell people instead of buying that twelve hundred dollar uh, iPhone, <laughs> take that money and put it in Apple shares. It's, Right, lots of investment. Quinn be too lit. Yeah, people <laughs> still find those iPhones, man. And they keep going up in prices too. Come on, get up to that top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two. I want to see what Monday looks like. That's what I'm excited about. I want to see what Tuesday looks like. Let's get it. Okay, it's the fake out here. Go up. It's that top. So what we 
Dylan, um, what's going on, Luther? You showing your screen? I don't even know how to do. I don't even know how to do. I gotta get Discord on here. Let me see if I can put Discord on my um computer. Hey, Luther, let me ask you a question real quick. What broker you trade off of? Uh, Fidelity. Oh, Fidelity. Okay. I'm doing we right now? I'm just trading on Webull. Just just going. I got a thousand dollars, and I'm gonna keep trading to it go to zero or I go up. I'm at five hundred dollars now. Hey, do you do you see? Um, I don't know if you notice. Like sometimes when you're not trading, what I like to do on Webull, do you like you see their paper trading uh, options? It looks identical to like the regular one. It's like the best one I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah it's, I know. it's really nice. It's like the identical of like what you're doing. Like if you were using real money, like the same setup. So you could still buy and sell the options and they in real time. There you go. Hey, come on, go up there. See, this, this, is, this is the problem I be having. Like, through a rising wedge. Now, I'm trying to figure out where should I be looking like an Israel, where it jumped out the rising wedge. I want to see it kind of, this is the, I guess it retested the wedge. Now it's rejecting. Should I be input? I'm trying to put all that together, like how Jordan was saying. Because this is, <clears throat> what did you say? I'm talking about the rising wedge that's on Nvidia. You we just broke it. Now it don't retested it. No, I don't think it retested it all. Yeah, have. Now I should be being put right. I should be getting puts because it's under the, the, the wedge. Yep. Are you, are you waiting put, to break or are you just going to get in because it's forming it? Well, it's, it's already on broke. And it looked like it's trying to retest it on the five minutes. This one I should be in. All right, all right, all right, all right. Mm, 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 mm. You know, George, George's um, different than mine, man. I got to redraw it. No, nah, you don't, bro. Yours can look different than mine. This is how I had to draw mine, but they are hitting on. Yeah, that's straight. Not that man. And I'm on that player. Um, uh, let's take a look at this. Let me move this. Try to do that mother real quick, but I ain't even line my wicks up. There we go. Get that wick lined up. Line up them wicks like it's a barber. Make sure wait until. All right. Mm. I don't see nothing on that. Dang, man. We had an analyst that was supposed to come on and just trade Starbucks. I'm like, what happened? Sorry, that's another inside joke. Inside joke. I don't know if anybody on here will get that one.
Nobody. Right. Nobody was here for that. Uh, Starbucks support. Trim line. Looks looks nice. Oh, is that a is that a head? Is that a left shoulder? Is that a right shoulder? Somebody says a good entry for PDD. I pushed up and pulled back. I entered before it hit my level that I wanted to enter at. Shame. Around, push it back down. Hmm. This is so frustrating. Only frustrating if you're allowed to be. It broke. It's breaking. Oh, that's the shake. That's the shake that says you saw it, called it out, and it's it's happening, but you didn't take the trade. Yeah. Well, does anyone do cover calls or secure puts? Uh, I think Luther does. Say Luther does it. Yeah, Luther has done. Does a uh, cover call sometimes? What percent are you making off that, Luther? If you don't mind me asking, I need to get the whole thing. I was, um, I got the whole thing on charge point right now. I got a um, a cash I could put on Coinbase. Um, 60, I got 600 dollars on that. And, um, yeah, I just be doing them. I'm a, I was gonna do one on the video yesterday, but I had to take the sign. But when it get back down to 132, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get like a 125 or I mean probably like a 115 cash secure put, and then I'll buy 100 shares of the stock right then and there, and then I might do an upside call on it and just get like 25, 26, 100 like that real quick. So at 125 a stock, 100 stocks, you gotta have what 12.5 in the bank or in your account rather. But well, if you got margin, you can get it. You can get it like that. If you got margin. You can go. Okay. What's up, I had the I had the cash to um get them. So, like like right now.
man. I know I can do it. Moody got me, boy. Moody, Moody got my confidence up, boy. I can see it. I just got to trade. Um, like, like you can do a, a two week out right now. A case of cure put if you had it. Or the 16th, if you want to just go two weeks out. I got to get out of that man. Uh, 130, two weeks. Well, next week, you can get 100 and um, for 130. 125, you can get 70 cents, you know, as long as you have the money. Me personally, I want the stock, so I'm going to get the biggest premium I can. So I'm gonna wait till it get down to that 132, and I'm just gonna just sell it, uh, sell the cash that you put on it, and I don't care if I'm a sign. Oh, maybe we gonna cut because you know it just it's going where it's gonna go. Well, like if, you go, if you go um to the 130, you can get 300 dollars right now for two weeks, 350. If you was to sell it, um, sell a cash at your cash at your put, Batman and Vinny gonna go up from one thirty. That's it. They're gonna fall to one thirty. Then you what after you, after you get assigned to it? Then what you start doing cover calls on them? Yeah, you just automatically start doing cover calls again. Just just flip it all the way up to the upside, automatically. So you you'll be winning. You'll win win. You know because you it's a good company. Plus you can. Do an out of the money call and keep your stock. So if you get it for one twenty five on your secure put, then you back dough and do a cover call for let's say one thirty. Yeah, but see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out to October because I want the stock. If it comes down to that place that that way, I'm gonna collect a big bag on it. If you get by down to one thirty, I'll probably get like a thousand dollars. You know, a thousand dollars. So, you know, something like that, then I can automatically, if I get a sign, I can automatically sell one out of the money and collect a thousand, you know? You know, because that's how much the premium will be on it, Vinny. You can go a couple months out and collect a thousand dollars. It don't matter. You know, you just collecting the money. And if it stay in the middle, 